Welcome to the Swedish Maker. Today I'm doing a really simple cross-cut sled with these 3D printed runners. And the reason I use 3D printed runners is because last year I did a cross-cut sled and some other jigs for my table saw. And uh, my garage is cold so they have been swelling and they don't fit the table saw anymore. So what I did was I took a photo of, uh, of the miter gauge and I designed this in three, Fusion 360 and I measured the dimensions of the miter gauge and uh, I printed these. Now these are pretty, they are like 27 centimeters long because that's what my 3D printer manages, but I'm going to make quite a small crosscut sled this time, but I can double them up if I want to make something bigger. And uh, yeah, there's a, there's a link to Thingiverse where I posted these and they fit my DeWalt DW745 perfectly. Um, I'm not sure if they fit anything else. I'm going to make this crosscut sled out of MDF and uh, plywood. So let's get started. Now before cutting my MDF, which is going to be my base, uh, I have made sure that my blade is set to 90 degrees. Now for the fence I'm going to use plywood, I'm going to cut it 7.5 centimeters, that's about 3 inches and uh, I'm going to glue two pieces together of the plywood and make a fence out of that. If you can tell by my hands So before I attach this here, I'm going to add a little chamfer to the inside of this and uh, that way the dust won't collect in there.
I'm not going to attach a fence on the back side of this yet. Uh, the MDF is strong enough to keep it together and let's try it out. It does look perfect. So this might not be the, the most amazing sled you've ever seen, but the main thing here was actually using the 3D printed runners, which seem to work great. Uh, I, I will print more of them for my other sleds and jigs, and uh, hopefully they will hold quite a while. And if they don't, I can just replace them with new ones. So that's it for this week. Uh, it was a short one. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.